Hi, I'm Data Juggler. In the next five minutes, we're going to build the most useful C Sharp application you're ever going to build. Let's get started. Before we get started, I wanted to show you why I built this little project. I do the USA Today crossword every morning just to improve my vocabulary, and they always show these little ads, and it's really distracting. And I'll show you a version of the .NET framework we're going to build before we get started, just to make sure you're even interested. So I'll just close this, and this just kind of appears. And it's a topmost uh, form, so this way it's above your browser. So that's, we're going to go ahead and get started now. I just wanted to show you what we're building and why. So now we'll jump over to Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new project. It's going to be a Windows Forms project. I already have it in my recent list, but in case you don't, you can just search for it here. Mine is going to be, I'm going to put this in GitHub slash AdCover. And here I am just going to call this AdCover and hit Next. We're going to use .NET 5 for this. I'll give this just a second to load and I'll get a sip of water. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is rename this to main form if Visual Studio ever... Okay. Just call it main form C sharp. Yes. I want to accept all the renames. And then the next thing I'm going to do is come over here to the designer and set a few properties. Change the text to add cover. I'm going to set an icon and I'll put the link to this in the video description. I'm going to just use this data juggler that icon that I have. Next we're going to set the back color. Set it to black. Okay, and then come down here. The startup position is going to be manual. And then the key to this, this topmost, this is make, makes it appear above your browser and other applications. Unless you have more than one app with topmost, then it's a struggle. Okay, and that is all we're going to do now. We're going to add an event. So let me come over here, go to our load event. This you don't have to do, but this is one of my projects called Regionizer. I'm a regionaholic. I'll put the link to this in the description in case you happen to like regions and or you want to learn how to uh, programmatically change text in Visual Studio, which is really why I wrote it. This is the main form for this app. The other thing that this uh, Regionizer program has is an autocometer. So if I turn that on and do that, it uses regular expressions to type that comment. And it's got some others, and it's on my list to make a new video for that. But it's been on my list for a couple of years now. And here, let me save a little bit of time because I copied this to my clipboard. Okay, that kind of didn't paste well. Okay, and all that does is we're just setting the left to the screen bounds. It's actually going to be on the right of the screen, but it's the screen bounds minus this form's width plus 16 for a little margin. Same with the height, a little bit different. And then the width is just, that's just you can change that to whatever you want, but that's all we're going to do. Go ahead and hit close all tabs, and now can I get a drum roll please? And that was my quick video. Let me know if that's the most useful C-sharp 5-minute application you've ever written. Thanks for watching.